Hey everyone, today we're doing a random painting contractor in Memphis's website review. Now, what I'm gonna be going through on this website is it has a lot of the right features. Unfortunately, it is just very cluttered and it is over the top and they're trying too hard. Like the guy at the bar that just won't leave you alone and he thinks persistence is everything. It's not, and neither is this website. Check it out. What I have here as I pull this up, just painting company Memphis is what I search for. And I'm going to pretend I'm a homeowner. So the idea of this is to put myself in a homeowner's shoes and figure out which company I want to hire. The problem is, is a lot, there's a lot of painting companies out there that have been in business for decades. They've done a great job. They've built up a fantastic reputation. But if I'm a new homeowner or I, you know, I'm younger, I'm, I'm 28, I'm not going to just go off of what I'm hearing in the, you know, from people recommending people. I'm gonna to go to the internet. So this is how I would operate a situation just like this. Uh, the first one, because I'm a homeowner, it says Commercial Painting Co. Probably wouldn't choose them because they're commercial and I'm looking to get my home painted. So let's go ahead and let's check out the website. So they have a one five-star review. Initial thoughts are going to be the website just looks, uh, man, it just looks, it looks bad. There's no way to, to go around. It looks very old and very dated. Right, even the images here look very grainy, like they were taken in like 1998, unfortunately, maybe 99. But either way, you know, if I'm looking for a, a painter that's gonna come out to my house, the first thing is a big pool. The second thing that I just saw is gonna be a basketball court. And the third thing is going to be an office space. Okay, so the pros painting focuses on commercial painting projects where attention to detail matters. All right, so I'm gonna initially go, you know what, that's not me. I don't want to go with them because they are not who I want to go after. So let's try Hawkins, uh, Hankins Painting Contractors. Uh, let's try this one. Commercial Painting Company. I'm out. So none of those work. Let's try, oh, okay, House Painters in Memphis. Here we go. All right, initial thoughts are going to be of the website. Um, looks more trustworthy to be candid with you. Uh, I'm, don't worry, I'm going to go through and rip this thing apart. Um, but at first, like it just, it feels good. Like it has the, the painting swatches all right there. I like that. Um, it's very busy, but just from an initial standpoint, like that first image that I saw, that's a good first solid image. Um, so from an initial perspective, I would say scale of one to 10, this is probably gonna be looking, and it's a cop out, but like a seven. All right. So the idea of that is just because it shows exactly what I want. And maybe it's because what I just saw on the other websites was pretty dismal. Um, this one's gonna be better off. So let's go ahead and break down uh, the website as a whole. So first off, one of the big things after we get through initial uh, gut reaction, because trust me, that is a huge part. One of the first things that we're gonna look at is ease of use. Is this a simple website to navigate? Yes, we have a nice big image or a nice big phone number at the top to call. And then another one right there. This is a schedule a free estimate, but maybe I don't, maybe I'm not quite ready for that. So I want to learn more about what they do. So under residential, let's just try exterior because it's the time of the year for that. Exterior painters in Memphis, um, trusted exterior painters, probably serving Memphis. So, that's okay. Uh, we're going to get into that part, but this thing, because it stays hovering right there about schedule a free estimate, it makes it easy to get an estimate if that's what you're looking for. Now, unfortunately, the, this aspect of the website is not good. There's no, it doesn't show the actual work or the actual process, right? We want to show people how this works, whether we show before and afters of a home or we show them step by step here's the, the, the exact process or system that you're going to go through to get your house from where it is now to where it is, at, you know, where you want it to be. It doesn't show any of that. So we're not showing any of that, unfortunately. So from an overall ease of use perspective, I would say this thing is probably more of like a six. And the only thing that's saving is because you have this right here, the schedule and estimate following you everywhere. Um, but as far as showing how you do things, you're looking right at about a three. Okay. So unfortunately, show me is a three. We need to show them what we can do. And it sounds crazy because you're going to go, well, it's just painting. But that's the thing is if it's just painting, why would somebody hire you versus somebody else? And the only reason is it's really going to be because of price, right? Maybe you have better reviews and stuff like that. But 
I'm not seeing any reviews on this web page, so we're not showing them. And the last little bit that we're gonna really dive into is going to be the personalization. Why is somebody getting their home painted? And we wanna talk about that. Because if you can write the text here and the images that you can show, if somebody's reading this and they go, you know what, this, this company gets me, this is exactly what I want, you're golden because they're gonna read it and they're gonna know they have to buy from you because not only do they are they sold on the service itself, but now they're totally sold on you as a company. So let's go through and see if it's personalized at all. High quality exterior paint is an important part of the home. It protects the exterior from the elements. It adds beauty and increases resale value when you're ready to sell. Um, I like that first part. So here's the big thing. You're selling the idea of why. What a lot of companies do is they immediately jump into planning your exterior project or saying why they're the best, but unfortunately they forget to talk about why you need to do it. It protects the exterior of your home from the elements, it adds beauty, and it increases the resale value when you're ready to sell. So let's think about this. You have a home that you need to sell. You need to get this thing on the market. And if it looks all chipped up and it has, you know, the siding is decaying, uh, it's flaking everywhere, you're not gonna be able to sell this thing. You have to get this thing done because otherwise you're gonna take a major loss because again, the initial gut feeling of what somebody's gonna say when they first see the house, they're gonna go, oh wow, this is a fixer upper. And if it's a fixer upper, they're automatically in this mindset that they may not want to buy your house. So that is something, a visual we need to talk about. We need to dive deeper into the resale value of this. Hey homeowner, imagine you're about to go sell your home and the exterior paint looks terrible. Not only is the exterior paint chipping, but the actual wood siding on it, it's, it's decaying and it's falling apart. What is somebody gonna think when they come to do a home uh, tour, they come to, to do a walk through the home and they see this? Well, if we're actually saying words like that on the website, it's going to put a visual in someone's head and they're gonna go, oh wow, I definitely need to hire this company because we're getting ready to sell in a year and we might as well make this thing look perfect. So that's what we wanna do is we wanna make it personalized and, and when somebody reads the text, they go, that's me. It protects the exterior of your home from the elements, it adds beauty. Well, let's talk about these. What elements are we talking about? Is it rain? Is it wind? Is it sun? Is it kids up the street doing graffiti? Let's bring that out, all right? And then it adds beauty. Talk about the beauty, show the beauty. What colors are in right now? And if you don't wanna talk about the specific colors, well, at least talk about, or at least show images of colors that are in right now. Talk about that stuff, and when you put those visuals, people will get behind it, and now, you're not just the painting company that does paint, you are now the actual company that is there to make them as happy as possible in their home. And that's what we wanna go with. Okay, now we have the planning your exterior project. Uh, when homeowners turn to us, planning a project becomes easier. We're not just hired hands, years of experience and expertise. We'll help you choose this. We'll find the gorgeous colors combination, select high quality finished coats. I would imagine every painter does this, right? I would imagine every painter is gonna come in and help. And if they're not, talk about that, but show this stuff. Show you with the color swatches showing a homeowner. Show it. Trusted exterior painters, nothing matters more, this and that. You know, we're the best, number one, proudly certain. It's not about you. Instead of saying trusted exterior painters, put up a couple testimonials. We use careful step-by-step -step painting methods that would eliminate uh, drip lines, seams, and inconsistencies. You will see the difference and so will your neighbors. I like that little bit of um, tapping into the emotion, but show this. Show your team working where, instead of saying we do all this stuff, just show it. Because everybody says this stuff. Proudly serving here. And then also, here's the other aspect of all this stuff. When you have the layout, remember we're talking about the pictures and show me aspect of it. This is what this is gonna look like on a cell phone. You're coming through, look at all that text. Think about yourself, like, are you excited to read that text? Are you looking through this going, God, I cannot wait to read that dissertation? No, you can have a lot of text on it if you want, but it needs to be structured in a way that almost looks like Wikipedia where it has like headlines and subheadlines and stuff. And then you also need to have images there. Break it up. So. From a personalization standpoint, the fact that they have this line in there, this one individual sentence in there, helps. Uh, you're still looking at about a four though because it does, you need to sell the product or the service first, then you can switch over and sell yourself. 
I do like this right here though. I know it's a cheesy stock image. However, this is probably their ideal clientele that they're going after. So by showing their ideal clientele on the website, it's going to help. And I'm gonna go, huh, that kind of looks like me. I'm in, I'm gonna hire them. Yeah, I mean, and then let's go ahead and jump into the actual website features, right? There's website best practices. So the fact that they have nice and big up there, a phone number or a way to get in contact with them, that's huge. That's what you want. Now the rest of this stuff is confusing, it's clutter, okay? So let's think about this. You bring somebody to your website is, and your website is meant to sell. It should be selling people stuff, selling them on the trust factor with you, selling them on the idea that they need to hire you is the first thing we really wanna do is to take them to Facebook. Think of the, the wormhole that they're gonna go down on Facebook. They're gonna be learning about all the stuff going on in the world right now. That's not what we want. We want them to buy our stuff. So the first thing that we're doing here is we're saying, hey, go to all these different websites. And what's even worse is we're saying, go to Angie's List. Hey, we want you to go to a place that shows all of our competitors that are probably undercutting us right now. Does that make sense, right? Like it's okay to let people go shop around a little bit because then they're gonna realize the differences, but we haven't done a good enough job yet to say here is why you need to hire us specifically and then go check out the Angels reviews. The first thing we're doing is saying, hey, thanks for coming to our website. Now go look at our competition to see who's the cheapest. It's also very confusing at the top. There's a lot of stuff that is going on. We wanna make this easier. We wanna make this more straightforward. We wanna guide people through the entire process of this. So here's a client of ours that we built their website. Look how much simpler this is. Of the options they have, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different things when you first get to the website that they can choose. Yes, you can have this or you know you can drop those down, but it's not overwhelming. Now look at that. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 different things that they can do. 18 versus seven. That is the big difference. So the fact that they have this up here of, of how to get in contact with us, because this is how Amazon has a buy now button, uh, shopping cart stuff's always in the top right. People automatically look for the top right for getting in contact, getting help, buying stuff. It's good that you have that. It's good that you have this uh, logo up in the top left. Um, I would 100%, and you have a good call to action right here that just says schedule an estimate, but it's just, it's just so cluttered. It, it's just a lot going on with this stuff. And then as you come down, it's just, again, it's a lot of text. For us, we have the text there as well, but we break it up by the images, right? Here's a lot of text, but again, when you look through this, this is just all text. Hey, remember what we talked about like showing that you put stuff down? Just show that. We'll leave the right impression. Here's our team. Change the feel of a room. Like here's why you want your room updated, stuff like that. So that's what we're going for. We're going for the personalization stuff. And then remember we talked about ease of use. Here's what you want. You want to come down and maybe you don't want to do something, but here's your before and after gallery. Learn more about us. Let's just say, you know what? Oh, okay, great. Interior painting. Let's go ahead and click on that. Let's learn more about interior painting work. Let's say we're not ready to get a contact or a contract or get on the schedule. We're learning more about them, learn more about them. The whole goal of this, this is a whole separate thing, man. You want to talk about ongoing marketing. That's the future right there. But you come down, you come down. We're, we're saying it's your home. We're going to treat it right. We're going to make you feel the, the change of the feel of the room is going to feel great. And at the very bottom, guess what there is? A button that leads them to, drum roll please, the contact us form. Let them call, you know, let them get a hold of you. And here's the big thing. During the busy season, you're getting 15, 20 phone calls a day. Imagine how many leads and jobs are falling through because you, you had them call you. Let them fill out the form on your website. Let this come in and then you can call them back. Yes, speed is everything, but at least this way, you're not on the phone with somebody and getting three other phone calls in the exact same time. Let them fill out a quote. Get it sent to your email, call them back on your time. That is what we want. Ease of use is at an all time high. That's what we're going for. So all in all with this website, I, I'm, I'm guessing it's, a, it's definitely a franchise, so I understand that. Um, but it's just, it's just cluttered. It's just so much stuff going on. They have the right stuff to get a call and things like that, but 
it doesn't do them any justice. It, you know, it maybe it helps a little bit because they are a franchise, but and they have these different street cred logos, which is cool. But again, it doesn't guide people through this website nice and easy. That's what we want, and that's a review. So make sure your website is easy to use. The gut reaction of 171st gets there is nice and simple and straightforward. You show what you're talking about, you personalize it for people, and you follow best practices. Don't overload people. They don't want that. They want you to choose for them. They want you to guide them, guide them through the process. If you want to get guided through the process, here's how you do it. Click the like button. Make sure you like this video because it really helps out the algorithm. And also, if you want, hit the subscribe button. Stay up to date with everything that we're going on. All right. Thank you very much. That's review. See ya.